Hi, today we're going to see how to create a colored dots portrait effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So this image size is 2000 in width and 1333 in height. So we need to crop it to 1920 and 1080. So I'm going to select the crop tool. So here it is. And now I'm just going to make here selection with the crop tool and now i'm going to change the size so this is for the for, this is for the height sorry so double click and now i'm going to type 1080 and then press enter and now here this is for the width and now i'm going to type 1920 and then press enter and now this will move the selection here of the crop here so now i'm going to type zero here so it will move it to the top edge so here and now this is for the side here and i'm just going to type zero and then press enter so here to move it to the left here edge so now just i'm just going to left click here on the crop here so here it is so now as you can see it's cropped and now to remove it. and now i'm going to crop the image here this one here to the layer content so go to image crop to content so here it is and now I'm going to select the move tool here in order to not make any mistakes. So now go to filters, blur, and then pixelize. So here it is. And now make sure the shape is square. And now for the block width, so as you can see, the chain icon here is linked. And now I'm going to change it to 30. So double click and then type 30. So here we have blocks of 30 pixels. So all the way here on the layer here on the image so press ok make sure to remember this number here 30 so press ok and now since the width of this image here is 1920 if we divide by 30 we have 64 pixels 64 squares sorry here from the left to the right and from the top to the bottom we have 36 since 1080 by 30 is 36 so now i need to create a new image so go to file new and now for the image width and height we need to select the same size as the size we selected for the pixels here for the square so it's 30 in width and 30 in height so here it is and now press enter so here it is as you can see it's quite small so press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in and now i'm going to add guides here to this new image so here it is so go to image guides new guide by percent the direction is horizontal and the position is 50%. Press OK. And now I'm going to add another guide. So go to image, guides, new guide by percent. And now just change the direction to vertical and then keep the position to 50% and then press OK. And now we are going to create circles. So first I'm going to change the background here to black. So I'm just going to drag the foreground color and now select the circle selection tool, the ellipse selection tool. And now check the anti-aliasing check the expand from center and then check the fixed and now just start your selection from the center here so make sure it goes until the edges so here it is and also go to image so you can also go to view and then here you can also snap to guides here so here it is and now just left click to confirm selection so here it is and i'm just going to fill it with white so i'm going to move the background color so here it is and now go to select none to remove selection and now we can still remove the guides here go to image guides remove all guides and now let's go back to our image here so here right click add layer mask and then check the black full transparency layer mask and then add so here you can see anything since the black on a layer mask represent transparency and the white opacity so we are going to copy this layer here so Control c as you can see copied layers to the clipboard so now go to the image so here select the bucket fill tool select the pattern here pattern fill and now if you left click on patterns the first pattern here is your selection the selection we made from this image here from this layer and now if I left click here, so here it is, it shows our image here. So as you can see, each 
dot here is color so here it is so this is because we filled this one here as you can see the edges is are black here and the center here is white the circle is white so we just kept the circle since we painted the layer mask and now i'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on this icon fill it with transparency and then press ok and now place it under our image here and i'm just going to fill it with black so here it is now if you press the mind scan your keyboard as you can see image is quite visible and now so here if you move forward so here it is and now i'm just going to merge down these two layers so here it is so here it is that's how you can create the color dots portrait effect in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time